pouring down rain. The it's pouring down rain. The officials coming out. The volunteers are coming out. The pride of the Southland Band is pouring the giant tea. The lights have been turned on at Neyland Stadium in Knoxville. You see the reflections in the pools of water as the rain comes pouring down. Homecoming 1984, Memphis State coming in with a record of 5-3-1, Tennessee 4-2-1. Perhaps the best Memphis State team in history. They've played some tough people tough. The volunteers are ready. Massed at the north end of the football field, and as the balls race onto the field, it's football time in Tennessee. This is the homecoming game for 1984. Tennessee played its first homecoming game in 1916 against Vanderbilt. And the cheerleaders already soaked, the officials soaked. So sit back and enjoy it. It'll be raining. It certainly is right now. And there you see Tennessee with number 10, Tony Robinson. Some of the warm-ups and this to acquaint you with just exactly what kind of traction there is on the, it looks like glass, really, but the traction is not all that bad, to be perfect. Stadiums, Shields, Watkins Field toward the Tennessee River or Fort Loudon Lake, about uh, a good punt away. Tennessee to the line. Third down. Right at three and a half, four yards to go. Robinson sizes up the defense. Dropping. Good protection. Here's the pass. Complete. That's McGee. Tim McGee makes the catch as Tennessee has moved deeper in the Memphis State territory. And the volunteers, of course, will see the clock stop with the marking of the ball after the first down. Tennessee leading by a score of 20 to 3. Let's take a second look at the side from the sideline. Robinson with good protection. McGee catching that wet ball and cradles it into his body. It is knocked down by Hooper, but Tennessee will have it first down. First down and goal at the six-yard line. Robinson. Pass. There's Howard. Four, three, two, one. Touchdown, Tennessee. Robinson to Howard. Same play action on the fake to Wilson. You'll see Howard is wide open as the linebackers caught just a little to the inside. Sharp comes over to make the play, but there's Howard into Pater. And Tennessee builds its lead to 26-3. Now let's see if the Vols will try for two. Not so. They're going to go for the extra point as the point try immediately before this was blocked. So here's Fouad Reves trying to start a new string after seeing the previous one stopped at 38. This is up, and it is good. We'll be back with halftime comments in just one minute. At halftime, Tennessee leads 27 to 3. Charlie Daniels will be performing at halftime with the Pride of the Southland Band, and you'll hear the roar for him as he's presented. There it is right there. Charlie Daniels was on the Vol Radio Network kickoff call-in show and will uh, be featured uh, later this season in a Johnny Majors show segment on the UTV Network. He's singing the Tennessee Waltz as Tennessee leads 27 to 3. The Volunteers got long runs from Jones and Robinson, passes to McGee and to Howard for touchdowns. Old Miss guilt, excuse me, Memphis State guilty of three turnovers by fumbles, one on a pass interception. So four turnovers have been costly for the Tigers of Memphis State. Charlie Daniels singing the Tennessee Waltz says the rain pours on everybody at Dillon Stadium. Right now, 10 seconds for station identification. This is the UTV Network. 1984 and the homecoming queen elected by the student body on Thursday Lee Davis of Knoxville her court Maria Butcher Carol Johnson Michelle Mitch Walker Sonia Pleasant Tennessee will be playing Mississippi next week at Jackson Mississippi as Charlie Daniels is cheered by the fans and what's a little water on Charlie D so he leaves as the Pride of the Southland band performs, you can see that some of the fans have filed from the stadium, but not as many as you might suspect. Once you get wet, there's really not much you can do about it. Tennessee leading 27-3, turning turnovers into scores. And we'll be back with the second half in just one minute. Tennessee leads 27-3. As our director producer says, there's rain on the rug. There has been throughout the game. Ernie Robertson and Mark Dyer producing the show. and. 
right here we take this opportunity to say what a job is being done by this UTV crew. It's raining on them as well. And they have uh, done quite a job in covering this game for you thus far. Let's see what happens here as Tennessee will be kicking off. And this is Juan Reves drilling it downfield. And Memphis State gets the ball at the five. Back to the 10. This will be breaking it free. Beautiful run to the 25 to the 30. Still on his feet past midfield. Racing all the way downfield into Tennessee territory. And that should have been the receiver. That's who it was. Jackson. Enos Jackson who is not normally the kickoff returner. He was back there with Harris, who normally gets it, but he grabbed the ball and breaks to the far side. Watch this cutback. And this is Enos Jackson. Brilliant run by Jackson, who is from Helena, Arkansas. And Memphis State goes on offense, first down and 10 to go at the 42-yard line of the Volunteers. So Sparkman sparks his team to the line. He's lost in the glare. There's the pass to the left side, and it's complete to the fullback, Clayton. And Clayton maneuvers forward for a gain of five yards on the play before he's tackled. Once more, the glare you see is there because the lights are on, and it's beaming down on the glassine-type surface, which is super turf. And actually, the traction isn't all that bad, although obviously where it's in a puddle it's got to be very treacherous second down five yards to go memphis state trailing 27 to 3. williams right side first down and then some written down by joe cofer but williams the senior from humble tennessee has picked up the first down i said williams it's 43 not 33 this is womack from mcminville jeff womack a sophomore from mcminville who's come on here and he carried the ball so Williams, who started the game, has been relieved, and Womack is in there. This year, Womack has gained 366 yards. This is Womack again, right side. Womack battling for yardage, and this time again of close to first down yardage. Womack now has carried the ball seven times for 40 yards. Give him nine on that one. Watch the blocking up front from this big, big line. Memphis State has one... Offensive tackle, 294, one at 307 pounds on the right side, long, a lineman from Cleveland, Tennessee. Well, as you see, it's a bit short, so as we said, it will be officially nine yards on the game. Second down, about a yard to go. Memphis State trailing, but moving deeper and deeper into Tennessee territory. That's Womack, I don't know. I think he got the first down, slicing over the right side of the line and moving it forward for the first down. Let's take a second look as Jeff Womack follows the blocking of Clayton, but then coming from behind and making the play is Dale Jones. Great pursuit by Jones, the big play man from Cleveland. It'll be, however, as we mentioned, first down and 10 to go. First and 10 as Womack carries for the first down. Ball rest at the 17-yard line. This is Womack turning to the 15 and is bumped out of bounds. So Jeff Womack carries the ball, this time for a gain of three yards, and he has carried it one, two, three, four straight times. Nine carries, 46 yards for Womack. 5'8", 175-pound sophomore. Tennessee digging in defensively, but Memphis State, which trailed 27-3 at halftime, comes back with a brilliant kickoff return by Enos Jackson, and now they've just turned the ball over to Womack who has gone time after time running with that football. There you can see it rests inside Tennessee's 10-yard line as Memphis State comes to the line of skimming. Most of the fans still there, you can see in the background, and most of them are drenched, as are the players. Memphis State to the line of skimming. Power eye set. This will be Womack trying the right side of the line as it was first down and goal at the five-yard line. And Womack moves for a couple of yards down to the three. Memphis State power eye still set to the right side. Sparkman checking the defense. This is Womack up the middle. No, nothing there. He is stacked up. And you'll see them peel off. 31 is Duncan. 20 is Benton. 95 in the middle is Bennett. 
Tennessee's got a six-man front. There you'll see the run by Womack, and Tennessee stuffed it up. And powering through at the bottom, 14 from behind. That will be Terry Brown who comes across. Third down, still goal to go. The ball rests, as you see, at the two-yard line. Tennessee leading 27 to 3. This time they load the power eye to the left side. Womack the tailback. Pitch, Womack turned inside. He stopped short. That's Joe Cooper who fills the gap as Kramer is the man who turned the play in from his cornerback position. He came up to take away the wide spot. You can see it here. There's the pitch. Now you'll see Womack thinking about going wide, but he's turned in. I think it was Brown, not uh, Kramer. 14 turned the play in. And then coming in to fill the gap is Coper. So it's got to be fourth down and goal to go. On the play, there's a penalty marker down. And Tennessee is going to be penalized half the distance to the goal for a personal foul. So... Memphis State has another try. Beckton is in there. Tailback, it's Beckton. No, he didn't make it. Tennessee has stopped Memphis State. Memphis State with actually five tries inside the five-yard line, and the Volunteers stop them. 95 Bennett, 42 Gopher. Tennessee's offensive line coming in to replace. Let's take a second look. The pitch to Beckton. Beckton tries to get wide. Turned in by Benton. Here is Joe Cooper. There's Terry Brown. And Beckton did not score. There's time out of the field with a score. Tennessee 27, Memphis State 3. Tennessee's defense rises to the occasion with an outstanding goal line stand. The penalty occurred in a dead ball situation. So actually... Memphis State had four shots inside the five, and they were unable to score. Now Tennessee has the ball at the Volunteer 26-yard line. Robinson in trouble. Oh, and he's pounded down. That's Tony Robinson being sacked for minus five on the play. He's carried the ball four times for 64 yards in the game, including a touchdown scamper of 25 yards. The Volunteers leading 27-3. Robinson, here's the blitz. Crane, the man blitzing. Robinson is knocked down by Trell Hooper coming up from his safety position. But on the play, a penalty marker is down. And the officials are conferring. Memphis State will conclude its regular season against Tulane in the final game a week from today. And Tennessee will be moving to Jackson, Mississippi in its next outing against the Ole Miss Rebels. The penalty is a face mask violation against Memphis State. And it will move it back about where Tennessee began this series at the 26-yard line. Second down upcoming. The Vols lead 27-3. Robinson seeing that defense shift. Continuing to move, and he steps in to ask for a timeout. Just barely beating the play clock, which had ticked down to one second when Robinson stopped it with the timeout. So, Tennessee avoids a penalty for delay of game, and the Volunteers come back to the line of scrimmage. Running backs are split. That's Wilson in there to your left, and on the right side is Howard. Second down, 10 yards to go. Robinson, oh, it's hit just as he releases the pass. It was intended this time for Howard. Change that B.B. Cooper was playing fullback. On the play, Tennessee guilty of holding, but uh, Memphis State declines as the Vols give this time to Wilson on the third down try, and the freshman from Pritchard, Alabama, cracks the right side of the line for a gain of four yards, but it's far short of the first. So end of the game for the Volunteers will be Jimmy Colquitt to punt. Senior from Knoxville averaging 43 yards per punt this year. A four-year starter for the Volunteers. And so Memphis State has deep to receive Harris, as Colquitt bangs that wet ball, sending a, wily, a, a wobbly spiral, fumbled, and Tennessee has recovered another Memphis State turnover. The recovery made by the junior from Cleveland, Chris White. Here you'll see Harris racing after the ball, trying to make the catch of a wet ball on the run, and he loses the handle right there, reaches to try to save it, 
The ball bounces away, and Chris White very alertly is on top of the ball. Here's a look from upstairs, as you'll see the ball bobbled, volleyballed around, and number seven, Chris White, really made quite a play to recover the ball in Tennessee. Back in business, first down and 10 to go. Ball rests at the 46-yard line of Memphis State. Robinson, again, is checking off as Memphis State comes with that gambling defense. A lot of people on the line, as you see. Quarterback Robinson, handoff Wilson, breaks it. Wilson, 40, 35, 30. He's going to go all the way. It will be another touchdown, Tennessee. Charles Wilson finds an opening in the center of the line, blocking up front that time by McKenzie and Mayo. Let's see, you'll see Mayo pulling. There's Mayo sealing it off and cutting back off Mayo's block is Wilson. And once he gets past the line of scrimmage, there's simply nobody left. Wilson all the way, 46 yards for the touchdown. Beautiful offensive line play, and Tennessee widens the gap. It was 27-3, now 33-3, and into attempt the extra point will be Fouad Reves. That drive, 46 yards in one play, uses eight seconds. The extra point is up, and Reves splits them this time. And so Tennessee leads by a score of 34 to 3 over Memphis State. One week ago, Memphis State carried the fight to Georgia before losing. Let's take another look at the run by Charles Wilson. 67, that's Bill Mayo. 52, that's McKenzie. 32, that's Wilson all by himself. He's just going to raise 46 yards for the touchdown. Earlier, Tennessee's number one tailback, Johnny Jones, went 61. This time it's Wilson. And trailing him, that's Carter signaling a touchdown. Tennessee leading. As we told you, the UTV staff is on top of things. Windy, rainy, it doesn't matter. Here's the kick. It's a bouncer. Memphis State, 15, 20. That's Harris carrying the ball out close to the 30-yard line. And he will be stopped at that point. So Memphis State needing something very, very big to happen trailing by the score of 34 to 3. Back to throw, new quarterback in there. Pass downfield, complete. Ball down here by Lovelady, fumble! And a scramble for this one. Let's see who comes out of it with the ball. It has been recovered by Tennessee, Reggie McKenzie with his second fumble recovery of the football game. The quarterback in there for Memphis State now is Farrell. And there you'll see the signal as Tennessee has recovered. Reggie McKenzie. And there's Carl Zander as his defensive compatriots have come to life in this game. Farrell's pass. It's complete. Now watch Tennessee's pursuit. 45 Zander. 20, I think, forced the fumble. Zander was right there. 20 being Benton. Now you'll see the ball bouncing around, being kicked around. McKenzie, 51, reaches out. No problem at all. Just recover it. Tennessee on offense as his twin brother, Raleigh McKenzie, is the center for the Volunteers. Tennessee leading 34-3. Howard with running room. Tennessee comes with a split back situation this time. And Howard crunches forward for a gain of eight yards. Ball move from the 37 to the 29. Tennessee getting some other people in. 70 is Upton on offense. We'll try to get them all. Hibbett is number 60. 67 Mayo is there. And Tennessee has the ball. Second down, about two and a half yards to go. And this is Howard lunging forward for first down yardage in the play. As Duvall is offensively in the line, a lot of people have played. Williams and Smith and Bartley and Upton and Galbraith and Mayo and McKenzie and Hibbett and Kurt and Wilkerson and Bruin and Douglas. Tennessee not at all at one time, but Tennessee has the ball, and it will be first out. Tennessee leading in the game by a score of 34 to 3. Ball just inside the 25-yard line. Robinson sizing up the defense. Tony Robinson, play action. Rolling right, being pursued by Fairs. Big block, pass complete, Smith, 10-5, touchdown! Jeff Smith, greeted by Todd Upton. Play action. Let's 
Mizzou gets this peel black block here. That's 52, Raleigh McKenzie. So the McKenzie brothers are making themselves known. The fumble recovery by Reggie sets up this touchdown drive as it goes to the Milan junior, Jeff Smith, from Tony Robinson. And Tennessee builds its lead to 40 to three. And here will be Fouad Reves to attempt the, the extra point as we near the end of the third quarter of this football game at Neyland Stadium. To the end zone, giving you a clear shot of the extra point try. It's perfect as you see, so there's time out of the field with the score, Tennessee 41, Memphis State 3. It's windy, and that is a cool, almost cold breeze at Neyland Stadium as the rain continues to pour down and some of the fans announced at 94,000 plus have left. So perhaps the crowd level, the noise level you're used to at Neyland Stadium may be down just a bit. Here is Farrell in there to throw that football. It's complete. Farrell is a junior from Camarillo, California at quarterback replacing Sparkman who started. And this time the catch is made by the tight end. And that's Blaylock. There's the pass. Blaylock comes open. And Tennessee's got Lavoisier Fisher in there. And also Kelly Ziegler at linebacker as the balls get a lot of people into action, both offensively and defensively. This is Womack struggling to the right side. 51 McKenzie, 40 is Fisher. 62 McAdams, 22 Davis. 49 over there. Helping out for Tennessee is uh, Welsh. No, that's uh, Ziegler, excuse me. So it will be Memphis State fourth down and a yard they got to go for the first down Tennessee brings people up there defensively Farrell in trouble going to be escapes this is Farrell running with the football and he moves forward before finally tackled by Fisher and uh, Ziegler but he's got a first down fine effort by Farrell Steve Farrell who was an inch from being sacked for a sizable loss you can see Tennessee getting the pressure on and he just somehow escapes running up the middle and converts a loss into a first down. Fisher, nice reaction to get there, but not until Memphis State keeps this drive alive, and as we said, a lot of people have left. Now, most of those, well, a, a lot of people, I should say, have gotten back under the upper deck in the east, south, and west stands, and under the roof that covers portions of the north stands. Back to throw fair, a long pass downfield is intercepted. Victor Peppers. A brilliant interception. For a minute, it appeared that the receiver, Thompson, might have broken open for a touchdown. Let's take another look from the sideline angle. There you see Thompson. He's got a stride, but you can see Peppers is playing the ball all the way. And look at that catch. Victor Peppers, a freshman from Albany, New York. Now let's go to the end zone and you'll see another just a sterling play. This could be in a play, a game of big plays, one of the just a brilliant, brilliant play by Peppers. And Tennessee stops the drive, but now the volunteers are backed up deep in Tennessee territory. Darrell Dickey will be in there at quarterback. At center, that's going to be for Tennessee Hibbett. We'll set that offensive line. Carrying the ball forward is William Howard. Hibbett, number 50, will get 75s in that football game. That's Bruin, who is a tackle. 57 in there is Daryl Smith. 11 is Daryl Dickey, Tennessee. Deep in its own territory after the pass interception by Peppers. And Dickey looking over the defense. Again, it's Howard. Not much there. Tennessee began this series back at the one, and the Volunteers have fought it out to the six-yard line, where it will be for the Volunteers third down. Darrell Dickey from Gainesville, Florida, but he played his high school football in Boulder, Colorado. Rolling to the left side. He's got to pull it down and run, and he's knocked down at the seven-yard line. Tennessee leading by a score of 41-3. to three. On the play, Tennessee guilty of holding. Memphis State declines the penalty, and so it will be Jimmy Colquitt in to punt from his own end zone. A wet ball, a heavy ball, and Colquitt is ready. They get the punt out. Waiting for the snap as we go to the sideline. The punt is blocked. It is blocked. Picked up by Memphis State. Squirming, squishing, and finally ending up at the one-yard line. 
And so the Tigers will have the ball first down and goal at the one yard line. The punt is blocked. And I'm not sure he got it. Perhaps we can see right here. Here's Colquitt getting the snap. Gets the punt away. And it is Elder, the cornerback on the left side, who comes racing through to block it. You see it ricocheting out there to the six yard line. Scooped up. Then fumbled again. And Brandon is the man who finally ends up with the football at the one yard line. There you see it'll be first down and goal. Big, big turnover, a blocked punt as the defense for Memphis State comes up with a big play. Farrell's still at quarterback. Tennessee digs in. Power eye set. This is Womack trying. I don't know. I think he was stopped short again. As the volunteers unstack from that goal line defense. And it is indeed short of the touchdown, so Memphis State will have it second down and goal. Earlier, Tennessee came up with a big goal line stand, stopping Memphis State four tries inside the five and taking over on downs. Memphis State with Farrell. Womack, oh, he's knocked down and penetrating from the corner is Victor Peppers. That's Peppers who came untouched from his alignment on the right side, showed the quickness and just blocked him down. Take a second look. Womack getting the ball, and here all of a sudden, there's Peppers as soon as the ball gets there, and then 39 is Welsh in, 49 Ziegler, 46 Messimer. A lot of young people as Coach Majors and defensive coordinator Larry Marmi and his staff leaving Tennessee's reserve unit in there, and they're digging in defensively. It's going to be third down, still goal to go. As Memphis State comes to the line, Tennessee leading in the game by a score of 41 to 3. Power eye set right. Quarterback is Farrell. Tennessee might have jumped. And then the give is to the fullback who pounds the middle. But Tennessee might have moved in the center. Were they drawn off? Time will tell. Offsides, Tennessee. So the penalty will move the ball half the distance to the goal, and that's about a yard. About a half a yard, I should say. Memphis State trailing 41 to 3. Tennessee defensively digging in once more. Memphis State in the power eye set. Womack, no, he didn't make it. So Tennessee has stopped Memphis State. This will now make seven down. Seven times Memphis State has thrust at Tennessee. In two goal line stands, the Volunteers digging in, and let's see what happens here. Fourth down and inches. Another look as the give goes, and coming from the corner to make the stop, Tennessee's Welsh is there. And Memphis State breaks the huddle. It's fourth down and inches. Same power I set. Tennessee trying to get under. Here is Farrell keeping, escaping. Touchdown, Memphis State. So Farrell faked the give to Womack, tucked the ball, and spins around the right side to carry it in to score. So Memphis State converts a blocked punt into a touchdown. And here to attempt the extra point will be Glasson. Ball snap, fumble, racing after the ball. This will be a desperation pass into the end zone that is intercepted by Tennessee's Terry Brown. There's time out of the field with a score. Tennessee 41, Memphis State 9. A touchdown. Tennessee received the kick. The Volunteers keeping the ball on the ground, but getting excellent effort from Pete Paduska and Jim Miller. The quarterback is Daryl Dickey. In this drive that has moved down to the five-yard line of Memphis State, Paduska has run for 18, and this is Pete Paduska again struggling it down to the two-yard line. Paduska, who is a sophomore from Brick, New Jersey. Jim Miller, a sophomore from Nashville. Daryl Dickey, a junior from Gainesville, Florida. We've mentioned the names of the offensive line as David Douglas is now in there at a guard. No, he's at a tackle and playing next to him is Bruin. This is Dickey, second down, Tennessee leading. Dickey pitches, this is Panuska through the right side and just short, just short of the goal line. Pete Panuska struggling over right tackle. Let's take a second look. Pulling, that's Jim Miller, 25 out front leading, Bruin downfield leading. B.B. Cooper in there in the power I set. Paduska just short. The hearty souls who remain at Neyland Stadium. They'll probably be there Sunday morning. 
as Tulsi comes to the line once more. Daryl Dickey at quarterback. The Volunteers in the power eye set. Memphis State digging in, trying to thwart this drive by the Volunteers who lead 41 to 9. Dickey, the quarterback. Fumble. I don't know. There's a struggle for the ball. I think that Hibbett might have recovered the ball. He is the center. And it will be Tennessee fourth down and that much to go for the score. 41 to 9. Daryl Dickey, the quarterback on fourth down, has looked to the sideline for the call. Dickey. And as he tries to get into the end zone, there's a bobble, and it has been recovered by Memphis State. So the Memphis State defense comes to life and stops Tennessee. Here you'll see Dickey faking the give. Dickey then lost the handle. The ball just bounded away from Dickey. And Memphis State has Octavian Sharp on top of the ball. So the Tigers will have it. First down at the Memphis State five-yard line. Tennessee clings to a 41-9 lead. Back to throw. Farrell, long pass is going to be incomplete. That's Victor Peppers getting a hand up to deflect it away. The quarterback is Steve Farrell. Memphis State trailing 41 to nine. And off to a new running back in there, and that will be Tara Tracy Holmes it is. Holmes slanting through the right side of the line, slithers forward for a gain on the play of close to right at uh, five yards, maybe more, closer to eight. So it's got to be third down and two. Memphis State handoff, and this time waiting on the running back, Holmes is Tennessee defensively, and so there's no gain on the play. That was Cooper carrying the ball, actually. So it will be fourth down, and in the punt from his own end zone will be Stevens, who's had quite an afternoon. The snap, Stevens, left puts it away, and it's another fine punt. Tennessee runs away from the ball, and it takes a good Memphis State roll and rolls out of bounds in Tennessee territory in the vicinity of the 35-yard line. Stevens has come on to punt for the injured, or I should say ill, Wally Hatfield, the normal punter, and Stevens has done a tremendous job. Tennessee with the ball. Handoff goes to William Howard. Chase that. Pete Panuska, 35, not six, carrying the ball through the left side of the line. And so now in six carries, Panuska has picked up 35 yards. Jim Miller, the fullback for Tennessee, has carried it twice for 19. And this is Miller up the middle, and Miller has a first down as the sophomore from Nashville, Father Ryan, Ryan Powers forward for a five-yard game as the football game comes to a close. Tennessee wins it. We'll be back to talk to Coach Johnny Majors in just one minute. 